Hey, what's happening, gang? Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains. And we're here inside of Metropolis, uh, the place that triggers Ares. And we're actually <laughs> playing as Ares today. Whoa! Yay! That's kind of cool. So, a little bit about Ares. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe as we do more gold bricks and collecting fun characters and stuff like that. So, toxic gas protection, fire protection, glide, which he does kind of have a glide. It's kind of cool. It's Fake there news. it is. Don't believe it. You're fake news. You've got toxic goo protection, <laughs> yeah. mind control, selfie powers, and uh, smash wall. So probably has like super strength. He can transform, uh, teleportation. Wow. Telekinesis, super strength. Ares is pretty cool. And he has vent travel. So as one of the legendary gods of Olympus, Ares draws his power from battle and conflict often using his abilities to persuade people into fighting each other. Uh, despising friendship and kindness, Ares can only truly be defeated by reason, understanding, and ultimately peace. His first comic appearance was Wonder Woman number one, 1942. There we go. But they should have said his love, kindness, and ponies would trigger him, but they, they didn't really do that. Yeah, so I always I always think of Ares as Diana's dad. So, in some versions, that is true. That is very true. I thought that was the the um. I, to I thought that was there. the original Greek story too. Maybe that's uh, not correct. I don't remember Wonder Woman being in. Uh... Oh wait, oh she wasn't in the original. Uh, like. Aww. So there was no Princess Diana in the original uh, Greek mythologies? Nope. It was not. Well, that didn't work. Hmm, that's weird. Well, why does he have a pink on the bottom of his cape? You know what? You don't want to trigger Looks like he has Ares. pink with some little polka dots there. I'm just saying it was his design choice. I'm just, I'm just wondering what... Does he have, like, a little happy side to him? A little... Does he have a happy a side? A side that prefers polka dots and pink? Ooh, turn... Can you turn around and show his little cape? Can I see it? You want to see his cape? Where are you seeing? Oh, there, look yeah. at it! It's a little like bit of pink. pink. A little bit of pink there. But pink is actually a royal color. So is purple. Or maybe it was supposed to be purple and it looks pinkish. All right, here we go. Okay, there's a that. bicycle in your way, so it's not letting you move. Get out of my way, fool. No, there's a... Ares demands your obedience. Yeah, so... Yeah, Ares is so cool looking, like he's one of the coolest looking villains ever. But like in the Wonder Woman movie when he takes off his mask, oh, I was just like yeah. I was just like Why? What? Like even if that guy was scrawny, pasty dude before he became Ares, even if I would be forced to believe that. At the end when he became the god of war and he had like slaughtered so many people and caused so much destruction. He would have been ginormous and filled... He would have looked like... I was picturing him to look... You know what I wanted him to look like under that mask? I wanted him to look even more intimidating than with the mask on. That's what I want. I wanted him to look like Jafar in Jin form. Like Jafar in, like, um, whatever you call it. Like genie? Genie form. Did you call Jin? Uh, Jin is a type of drink. No, Jin is also a spirit that I uh. believe genies are, like, named after, actually. Sorry, that was kind of disturbing. You talk about disturbing things? No. What in the world, Amber? Luke, you don't know names of ghosts and spirits in other cultures? I can't believe that you don't look at the same stuff I do. I look at happy Another things like kittens. Have I, have I triggered I you, Amber? Many people willing to fight over this. <laughs> oh, man. I think uh, Ares, he's the god of triggering. He seems to be. All right, so... Uh, they actually brought us in this location. This is the Daily Planet, which you, you guys did see in our kind of preview before the game came out. But we're actually going to go over here to, I believe, yep, this Golden Glider. Basically, Twitter is his playground. It seems to be. <laughs> and we're playing as a, a Titan villain, the Brain, which he has, like, his gorilla Whoa, henchmen. That's not, uh... No, that's not Grodd. Gorilla Grodd. There's, so his, there's more there's than one evil, monkey. evil monkey. Yeah. It, I mean, this one. Like, have you ever heard of that monkey, Coco, the monkey that they've been trying to teach to read for like, I thought it was over a decade. I thought Coco's no longer with. People. I thought I thought he did pass away. Or I thought Coco she, was a girl. 
yeah. You I'm, don't normally I'm call almost. dudes Coco. I'm pretty sure it was a girl, you're right. You're but triggering like, me. I had a lady who, in my medical assistant class, who was so obsessed with this monkey. Every day she'd be like, this Did she want to marry the monkey? She was like, you can, this monkey, they've taught it to read. This proves that monkeys have a written language and all this. It's like, but. Yes, you, it's called the Planet of the Apes. But you hand the monkey flashcards and then you get them to point to it. I mean, even dogs can do that in reality. Shadow, you need to step it up. When we give you flashcards, you need to, like, <laughs> understand what we're trying to convey to you. Oh my gosh, now I'm remembering that Frasier episode where he's like, Banana! Banana! And he's like, go get your banana toy! Can and then, I like... not get inside there? Then I forgot what the dog does, but I don't think his Those puppy got the banana to toy. Try out today. Where, where to How begin? in the world do you get inside to where the building is? Alright, we need a flyer. That's what we need. Everyone wants their animals to be smart. They want their, their cats to be the smartest. Or their puppy. Oh, that even looks like Ares on the uh, side of the building there. It does? Oh, that's where she is. Maybe if I commit a crime, he'll just appear. Who? Superman? You're not... Uh, she's not gonna tell us. Find you. Ares, go find out what that's all about. You know what? I found... Well, never mind. Forget it. I don't know. Just... Forget it. I've been on the lookout for the Flash for a while now. He's always gotten the better of myself and my brother, Captain Cold. Well, not this time. I hear the Flash is somewhere in the area, and I'm going to seize this chance. I just need to find out what his destination is, so I can head him off. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I was just thinking Someone today we had... must have seen something. I shall remain hidden until you gather the information Sorry. I require. <gasps> oh, um, glider! Yeah. Oh, well, that's who we were talking to. She's the one with the gold gun? No? Yeah. Uh, Captain Cold's sister? Yep. Yay, cool. I was just thinking, today in, in class, like, we had to learn all this world history stuff, and I, I already knew everything, but the reality was that I learned everything that I knew from YouTube videos. And, like, I already know, like, everyone was asking, like, oh, what's, you know, what's Wednesday named after? And I was thinking, like... Took him in. Maybe a neighbor took in the flash? Well, anyway, no, it doesn't matter, but basically we were watching a lot of YouTube videos in class today to learn history, but it was just ironic because I already learned all of that from YouTube videos since I've been on the internet for, you know, 10 years doing this job, so then obviously when you're waiting for things to render or load or whatever, you always watch YouTube videos, and I always watch documentaries, so it's like I've literally learned more from doing YouTube than I ever did in school. Which is pretty cool. Oh, 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 I saw him! I saw him! I saw him at the comic store! He signed my Flash number one comic! <laughs> when, wouldn't that be E? You had AH! Like written down there. Oh, the person wrote the wrong. Uh, d that little kid was cute. Yeah. I want a Lego little kid like that. So, yeah, that's what I really want to do at some point is make my channel more into like. Lego friends, Lego elves, like, put together little Lego sets and stuff. Lego elves? I love Lego elves because they have dragons. They actually have, like, a little series on, I think it's on YouTube, it's free to watch. Where they have episodes of Lego elves. Well, sometimes companies, like, they'll put up, uh, DC actually has a new action figure line called Batman Missions, and they made stop-motion episodes with the figurines oh that's featuring cool. uh the new figures are batgirl batman and robin and these figures actually released i would say october is when uh they made the announcement and how they have been advertising it which is kind of cool is they do the stop motion videos using the action figures to show you how flexible the toys are and you know they just got generic people to be batman robin and batgirl but you know, it's, it's still really cute. The figures actually look pretty cool. Like, oh yeah, I see the person on the front of that building now. Wait, you found you found the person? Oh no, I just see like the giant sculpture on the front of the building. Sorry. Ah. 
Yeah, that is really cute. Actually, Luke, I was wondering, since you're playing a Starfire, what do you think about hearing about that? I mean, we haven't watched it yet, but that new episode of uh, Teen Titans Go that that's out. I haven't. We haven't. Seen there is. It yet. Yeah, there's a really cool new episode of Teen Titans Go that uh, came out that features animation from Batman the Animated Series, uh, different interpretations of like uh, how the Titans have looked overseas, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, it's, I believe it's called Origin Origins or something. It's something Origins, but, like, yeah, it's kind of cute. We're going to watch it tonight, like, while we eat our dinner. Um, I had a fever today, so we're a little bit behind on videos and everything right now because I was kind of out of action for a little bit. But Amber let me sleep, so I, I was able to get my fever down. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm... I'm, so I'm glad I didn't have to take you to the doctor, but I may have to still make sure you're okay. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe I'm getting superpowers from all the cat scratches. Do you want to come in and try to help me? Because oh, yeah, I can't, sorry. I can't get these I things. I'm just no, saying. that's the wrong controller. What am I doing? Because so many controllers here. As, as people told me, I'm really bad at finding characters because I can't read maps very well, which they're not wrong. Uh, fetch quest is not something that I'm really ideal at, so... As... as me? Mm-hmm. There you go. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Aries! Yeah, you're playing as Aries. Whoa, my eyes are red. Look at those games. Yes. I, <laughs> I like how he has, like, different, like, weapons circling around him. He looks really cool. What would have made Ares cool in the movie, though, is just like the Justice League animated show. Like, he needed to have his face all black with his glowing red eyes. Yes, that <gasps> that's what I was thinking he would have looked like underneath. That's, yeah, well, yeah, I was thinking the first thing, like I said, like, it's crazy, like, really buff know. person. But then I was but thinking if he didn't look like that, he would have just been a black, like, darkness. Like, he would have just looked like... You know, just darkness, just like a black shadowy figure with red eyes, like a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, I understand that the actor, but the actor already had so much screen time yeah, as would, the uh, the English because dude. Because it just made, it just ruined the entire movie when he took his helmet off and it his face didn't was didn't ruin the entire movie for me, but it did, like, definitely cheapen the reveal. Yes, the because it wasn't Where? really a reveal, did it was just stupid. Did you want me to take a picture or something? No, we're trying to find the flash. All right, so I found the gorilla, man. So that means, oh, that's actually going to be so easy to find. Are the we allowed to here. go through like different the, these places? Not yet. Um, the Daily oh, Planet like we're going to show as a, an episode. Oh, right now we're kind of like out in Metropolis, just kind of hanging out, showing the city. And this is a <laughs> you stole the guy's <laughs> car. I'm Aries. Yeah, of course. All right. Actually, that really wouldn't be my job. I wouldn't really be because each different like god or goddess actually makes mischief in their own way. So I really wouldn't be stealing cars. I but the reason why them. Aries is supposed to be like all dark looking is because of all the evil deeds that he's done yeah. and how he betrayed uh, Zeus and That's some other people. That's what I was thinking. Like he would get look more and more corrupt. No matter how much he looked at the beginning. He would look more and more corrupted as mm -hmm. time went on. That's why when he looked exactly the I same as before, it didn't make any sense. Because he would eventually not even look human. Yep. Of course, he wasn't human to begin with. He was a Greek god or whatever. But he wouldn't even look like... Because according to the, you know, whatever, the Greek gods looked like really amazing like Fabio or whatever. But he wouldn't look like that anymore because he would be totally evil. Yeah, so when he, when they kind of changed that reveal thing, it, it, it bothered me a little bit. It was still a cool fight, but it could have been a lot better. Yeah, he didn't look, he didn't look right at the beginning or the end, but whatever. It's fine. That's still triggering me, but it's fine. He's the god of triggering, so it's fine. That's part of his thing, is trying to trigger the god of triggering? Me. Seems like it. Apparently he's taken over pretty much all the world because everyone's triggered all the time. Oh, I found the next person. They're on a boat. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be finding people. I forgot. I don't think Ares can fly. No, he can't. So, can I be somebody else or Sure. So you're a fan of the Flash? Well, you're in luck. You can find him in costume at a local comic book signing right now. It sure is your lucky day. Yes. Yes, it is. 
All right, so I'm gonna be the next row. Am not afraid to do what needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk too much, Sinestro. Okay, so we're looking for the last person, which wait, that's right. I need a flying is over here by LexCorp. That's where the comic book store is. That's interesting. Fifty a share. So Metropolis has like such a huge uh, contrast you compared to. Isn't enough time in the day to go to the gym and drive around in a fashionable, affordable road car. Sure. What? Let's go over I'm really the sure how one would get that out of there. So we're looking for a comic book store, like over in this vicinity. So I'm actually gonna do this. And Sinestro should be able to find it this way. Okay. Now. No, it doesn't. Gotham is its own thing. Metropolis is using Gotham. Nope, you are. Wait, you're right there, so... Yeah, I'm trying to find the last person that's over in this area. They... It's supposed to be like a comic book store, or probably somebody cosplaying as The Flash. Breakfast and take away coffees for a year. Uh, the Flash is my favorite superhero. I remember the battle he had with the not so cool Captain Cold. <laughs> Obviously, Flash came out on top and won. He's so great. Obviously, he's so great. Flash fanboys. All right, so now we got to go back to where what's her face is. Unless you see any more people on the map, I don't. I don't see any more. That's it. Hmm, I can Oh yeah, no, they're... Yeah, because we're all in Metropolis, so I don't see any more people. Alright, so I'm so gonna go back. So where do we go? We go all the way back here to this person? You gotta talk to her. Talk. So she's located... Here? No, I got her. I gotta go up here, talk have to her, and then... There must be I've spoken to everybody. Uh -huh. Go and find out now! Do we have a final destination oh. yet? Why did you think it would be a good idea to tell me this? Because so? I can't read the selections. Perhaps I could pose as a fan to get in. Cute. But I don't care for any feline named after him. I fail to see how that will assist me. I'm just going Useful, through the list, lady. But there's going to be a lot of annoying fans there. With this information, I will seek vengeance for my brother. The Flash will rue the day he crossed my family. Thanks for your help. I won't forget this. <laughs> her voice is cute. I like Aww. her. I like her little evil, like, cute, um, Lego voice. That's adorbs. You so, like her cute little evil Lego voice? It kind of reminds me of the CW, but, like, a cuter version of it. The Lego version of that. I really thought that, um, I really wanted to see more of Captain Cold and his sister in the CW show because I thought his sister actually did a really good job. I thought she... I believe the actress went and did something else. Oh, I thought she was gonna... I thought she... I thought she was gonna be terrible when, when she got her gold gun... or her gold gun. It was actually really funny to watch them together. Yeah, it was. I like when I like when evil villains are like over the top, and I love how Captain Cold in that series played himself so over the top. And then when she came in, she also did it over the top, so it was awesome. And then Mick also kind of did it over the top, but he was basically just a brute. But yeah. Uh, but I liked how uh, my fate. They were some of my favorite characters: Captain Cold and his sister Golden Glider. They were so fun. Oh my car. If I had to be a villain, Golden Glider would be one of them because she her gun is made out of gold. Well, I mean that in that version, she's had uh, other abilities as well. Like this one, she's using like ribbon attacks and stuff like that. So it all depends. Sometimes she's a meta, and sometimes she's just a person with a weapon. All is depends. This, is this somewhere I'm supposed to go? I don't know, to be honest. There's I'm like a square here. Oh no! I can't tell. Maybe that's to progress the story. Yep, this one's a meta. She has. Oh, she can actually fly. She can fly. It's like she in can the CW, she just had a gun. Yeah, like I said, it all depends. 
So we're gonna go say hi to Trigon as our next person. Hopefully he doesn't have another fetch quest where <laughs> Metropolis apparently is all about uh, saying hi to people and stuff. I just liked, I, I know that Ares isn't Diana's dad in every incarnation, but I just want to see somehow Diana and her dad Trigon together with Ares or Diana, Diana and her dad Ares together with uh, Raven and her dad Trigon. I just think they would make, they should do like a, they should go out to lunch sometime or something. I just want to see how that would be. Okay. Greetings, Dark Disciple. You've caught me at an inconvenient time, so no wishes or sacrifices today. I've been relying on my worshippers to summon me between planes, but doing so has come at a cost. This form of travel has left my powers drained and thrown my sinister schemes into uncertainty. I need relics of infernal power to recover my strength, and you will find uh -oh. them for me. Gotham City would have been a more sensible place to search for dark items such as these. Dark items normally reside in dark places. However, Metropolis will have to suffice for now. My patience is beginning to wear thin. You won't like me when my patience wears thin. Well, hopefully, we can find some of these items. Oh. Sounds like we're going to be able to find these items pretty easily. Yep! All right, well, we're playing as Raven's dad, so... Raven's? Well, we're not playing as Raven's dad, we're... We're, we're helping Raven's dad. We're helping Raven's dad. Okay, so, wait, so, where are we? Oh, these items are all around here, so... Yep. They're all around. You just have to follow the, uh... The hot dog cart? Has something evil behind it? Okay! Apparently, the uh, hot dog cart was hiding something evil. Okay, I'm almost... That's really interesting. Oh, you already found that one. Okay, okay, okay. So I have to go opposite. You're finding them so fast, Luke. Oh. That's because they have them highlighted this time. It's working again. Hmm. Except every time you bring up the map, it disappears on me. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry about that. Alright, so this is a nice little establishment. They want me to go inside. So I like how Metropolis, you can actually go inside of the buildings a little bit. Oh, yeah, It's a big difference compared to uh, Gotham stuff, where everything was mostly outside, aside from a few restaurants and things like that. I can't find it. I guess it's here somewhere. Hot dogs! You're, wait, what are we looking for again? Uh, Hot relics dogs? of darkness. How are hot dogs relics of darkness? I don't know, they just kind of are. <sighs> okay. You know, I was really worried when we came into the restaurant that the video was gonna Have get hit. There isn't enough time in the day oh, to go yeah. to the gym and drive around in a fashionable, affordable road car. And here's a... I mean, it's very possible it's a cover. Here's a brick right here. Yeah, but we're not worried about that right now. Just doing Trigon stuff. Okay, so... Let's see where the next one is. It's right here. There's one right here. Sorry, and you can actually... Run out of renewable energy. Come back tomorrow to book a test drive. At least I get to go home to my wife and kids. Right. What? Got me. I said we've, we've run out of renewable energy. Okay. It appears to be some type of puzzle oh, in here. Oh, that's another... This is another... Um, yeah. That's not back, a thing. Back out of that, please. Okay. Where... How do you find the... Uh, I'm not finding any of the... They're outside. On the map. You just follow... Follow the arrow. The arrow? Oh. So the arrow is telling me where they are? Okay. Sorry. I won't win any medals Okay, that was kind of a cool this. move. Someone else better try. It's the return of the beautiful, the brilliant, the food Oh, maybe I'll go wherever you are, because I'll, like, drop out and then I'll go where you are. Sounds good. Okay. Are you here? I am... Not, nope. Isn't... That's where the last item of darkness was, though. Good job. So they're not... It's not really telling me. Oh. You probably want to fight those guys. I mean, I would. Hmm. I really want to talk to Trigon with a raven. 
You want to talk to him with Raven? Yeah. Because that's her dad. Oh, I get it. What? So, I'm like... I'm supposed to move this. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to... Whoa, our cats are being crazy. When aren't our cats being crazy, Amber? Alright, I'm gonna drop out. Okay. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, that turned... I'm supposed to get all these to light up. So the, the pattern has to be... Whoops. Oh, Raven's here. Uh... Oops. Yeah, so... Oh! There, it... That's... Kind of lit up. You want me to... I don't know. I mean, it's kind of lit up. Blue and blue. I don't really understand the other stuff here. Mm, like, okay. I mean, if it... If it just needs to get the rocket to do its thing... I mean, how would you get all the other stuff to be lit? Um... Wait, where am I? I just... You just... All you can do is push that. That's the puzzle. Yeah. It's to move the electricity around somehow. Unless it's to get all the, uh... Oh! I thought... This... This was lit up. Which would then light up this red thing. Somehow. Hmm. Wait, how does it light up, though? It's not really connected. I don't know. I've never seen a puzzle like this. Oh wait, maybe maybe I gotta step on it? Whatever you just did? What was that? No. Maybe there's something else that needs to be broken down here. I don't think so though. Might have to come back to this, because I don't know. This is weird. We'll come back to it. We know where it is. It's uh it's in this building. Let's go see Trigon. Okay. Go back to Golden Glider. Let's see, she would be... Because we're mostly just trying to unlock characters today, we're not really doing the gold brick thing. I, I would like to do most of the gold bricks in one video. Yeah, I think uh, Golden Glider's character model is really cool looking. Yeah, she is kind of cool in this. She's got little, like, waves of gold behind her and stuff. So, before we couldn't open this up, because... Although, I've seen better dark offerings from teenagers at sleepovers. Very good. Oh, I'm not there. Your reward will soon be at hand. Okay. Even. I, I'm not gonna make it. Excellent. With these relics, I will be able to restore myself to my former glory. Then, once I am unstoppable, I shall head to the nearest city center and make a withdrawal they won't forget. So you're gonna rob a bank? Said money to take a cab to the finest bakery in the land. Red velvet cake is difficult to come by in my day-to-day -day routine, and I do so enjoy and long for it. Are you still here? Go away. Ooh, I managed to collect another one. Soon I'll have even more than my brother. All right, so let's oh. check out Golden Glider. So she's competing with her brother, kind of. She always does. Okay. Oh. So she has hyper jump, she can use a grapple, she has flight, uh, acrobatics, illumination, she has mind control, okay, I didn't know that, photo mode, yeah, teleportation, <laughs> and that's it. I thought she could control thugs, but I don't think so. Yeah. Originally oh. a highly skilled figure skater, <laughs> Lisa Snart joined her brother Captain Cold as part of the Rogues, a group of villains whose ultimate goal was to defeat the Flash. Struggling with their mission, Lisa was convinced to take part in a strange experiment and given... It shouldn't it be, and it gave her amazing powers? And Take place in a strange experiment and given him... Oh, Lisa was convinced to take part in a strange experiment and... Yeah, it should be like was, That's a typo. was given amazing yeah. powers. First comic appearance, The Flash 250, 1977. Yeah, there's like a word missing there. There's something. a typo. And for Trigon. Have returned. Trigon? Yeah, don't don't go grammar Nazi hipster on me, Luke. I like that he waved. That's great. Uh, okay. 
I can fit through that window. That's that's great. <laughs> oh my god, she's so big. <gasps> he can fly. He's Trigon. Of course he can fly. Oh, he's fun. <laughs> All right, so Trigon has toxic gas protection, Ooh. fire protection, flight, wow, boost lift, toxic goo protection, heat Whoa. powers. He's invincible. Heat bolts. Hyper jump. Oh my god. Yeah, he's got the whole uh, smash walls, selfie, mind control. He can uh, make stuff, you know, lighted, super strength, mm -hmm. telekinesis, oh teleportation, transform. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a lot of abilities. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Trigon versus Dark Side. Who would win? Trigon. Wow. Trigon is an all powerful demon who rules over the interdimensional realm, Azeroth, and is the father of Raven from the Teen Titans. Determined to grow his empire, Trigon attempted to conquer the Earth, but found himself challenged by his daughter and her new friends in battles, the Titans. First comic appearance, New Teen Titans, number two, 1980. Wait, they really went up against him? Oh yeah, the Justice League couldn't take him down. It was up to the Titans and Raven. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. How was that possible? <laughs> That's crazy. I know. That's why the Titans books were so good back in the day. There we wow. go. Wow. Okay, what's his full transform form? Full transform thing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, That's him and his daughter. Yeah, <laughs> she would need to. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look she'll, at she's, she's smiling. She's so big. Oh, that's so cute. The feels. <laughs> All right, so anyway, guys and gals, <laughs> that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for Yay, watching. So we got uh, Golden Glider and Trigon in this episode. Raven's dad. Raven's dad. Literally Raven's dad right there. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you with more of our showcase this here on K-Wing's Let's Plays, and uh, we're going to have another episode of uh, LEGO DC Super Villains for you guys later today, so check it out. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. See ya!